uh, that was at the same time that WRIF FM was starting to really format, and they were starting to move on from Brother John Rygren, who just went by the name of Brother John. And I think that they also had they had Penhollow. Penhollow was their was their yeah. was their the, was their show pony. They mm-hmm. brought yeah they brought in Cicero Grimes yeah from and speaking uh, of Ann Arbor I think it was Ann Arbor right yeah, yeah. outside of Ann Arbor yeah, yeah. I want to say he lived in Chelsea or something like the that the great Dick Kernan I think discovered him yeah him. well yep. it would be a, what a presence he had oh and, my god yeah it remains as that to this day but um, anyway I just know that more and more people were starting to get along in terms of radio kind of actually piling up on WRIF. Yeah, the one, it was, thing, yeah. the one thing we will never be is a formatted radio FM station like that, WRIF. Although WRIF, the program directors would say, look at these numbers. We are getting killed. <laughs> and you know why? It's because they have a format. And I remember they would kind of play everything. I remember they would play like Living for the City by Stevie Wonder. Mm-hmm. And we kind of thought, well, so are all the top 40s. That's the we if it's on top forty we don't play we don't want to play it we don't want to play it and W four at the time too was between what Riff was and what ABX was we touched on both sides yeah because Walsh came from he was the general manager that came from CKLW and he was a broadcaster yeah and he was going to teach all of us the business of broadcast yeah well he did yeah and they brought in the little boxes the final yeah. boxes with the we had uh, Wowies and Whoppers and. Uh, a, B, C, and Ds. And we were allowed one Wowie a night, and you could only play the Wowie once every six days, but you had to put your initials. In. So there was a lot of different for- formatting was beginning everywhere. Riff was the was the tightest. Uh, you couldn't get any tighter for an FM radio station. They were probably playing literally 300 songs, which was, by, by our standards, absurd. I could play 300 songs in a week. Um, they were starting to play... And this is where they really stepped in a bucket of, of pucky, if you will. They were actually starting to not play the long songs. I mean, they were starting to go for more music in the hour and all right. that sort of stuff. And they were dealing with ABC News at the top of the hour before ABC News. Anyway, that, I'm straying all over them remembering this stuff. <laughs> then Lee Abrams came in and changed the, yeah. the, the yeah. concept of it. But ABX, ABX started, to, started to fray a little bit at the seams when... When W4 started to format up, uh, what happened was that Chili Graffman, the owner of the, of the facility, who also had Casey in St. Louis, which was gigantic and to this day is still gigantic, a gigantic radio station. Shelly Graffman came in and he was boots on the ground and he looked at me and he seemed to think that I was the one sane human left. <laughs> in, uh, you know, I mean, that's how I more or less took it. He could kind of tell me what to do and then get the rest to follow me right? as best I could. All he wanted me to do was try. So he wanted me to kind of, uh, to take this Casey format and sort of put it in the studio and just ask them to try it. 